Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be discussing everything we know so far about GTA 6 Online. Now, GTA Online has become a crucial part of the GTA series, and with GTA 6, Rockstar is expected to make a handful of very major changes to GTA Online to make it better than ever. So in today's video, we're going to be discussing what these changes and improvements are and how they're going to impact your GTA Online experience. So we got a ton of really awesome and exciting information to discuss today, but first off, make sure you drop a like rating on this video to show your support as well as subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. But first off, here is today's shoutout of the day, and wrap out onto the actual video. Now, today's shoutout goes to a really awesome YouTube channel known as Guy Who Learns Tennis. Now, he started playing tennis with no prior experience, and on his channel, he has recorded and posted almost every practice session he has ever had. It's really interesting to see how he's been improving day over day and week over week with his consistently documented learning experiences. So whether you're a tennis professional, a beginner, or anything in between, I recommend subscribing to Guy Who Learns Tennis by clicking the first link in the description down below for some really awesome documented tennis learning experience videos. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Now, as I'm sure all of you are already aware by now, GTA Online is by far one of the most important parts to the GTA series and Rockstar Games as a company. Now, when Rockstar first released GTA 5 back in 2013, they were never planning for GTA Online to become what it is today. They were planning to release a few smaller updates with some new cars and some new weapons and missions, and that was pretty much it. However, due to the major success of GTA Online and with more players asking for more content, Rockstar went out of their way to continue developing bigger and bigger GTA Online DLCs, and GTA Online has become what it is today. Now, in GTA 6, I do expect Rockstar to keep the same baseline formula for GTA Online, however, there's going to be a number of big changes being made, and the first one that I'd like to discuss is from a patent that was given to Rockstar Games about how they manage players in an open world map in online sessions. Now, one of the biggest issues with the current setup of GTA Online is that 95% of the players are in Los Santos, and then the upper area of the map up north near Blaine County is really empty and usually no players go up there. Now, with the new patent that was given to Rockstar, it seems like in GTA 6, Rockstar is going to be taking a different approach to prevent this from happening. The way it's going to work is that the map is going to be split up into separate quadrants, and each of these quadrants is going to be a separate online session. So as you go throughout the map, you will be transferred automatically between sessions depending on where you are in the map, so at no point is the map supposed to feel empty without any players. Now do keep in mind that while a patent was given to Rockstar for this technology, this does not mean that it's guaranteed to be coming in GTA 6, it's very possible that Rockstar could scrap it or change it out with something else, but I really hope that this technology does make its way in because I think it's going to be really really awesome. Now, in addition to the map technology, another thing that Rockstar is likely going to be focusing on, which I think is a major pain point for a lot of players, is both speed of loading in GTA Online, and then also the overall reliability of the servers. Compared to other online games, especially more modern ones, GTA Online at the moment loads very slowly, and this is not due to the player's internet connection, but really on Rockstar's side and their servers not really being built for what GTA Online is today. As I mentioned earlier, when Rockstar first released GTA Online, they were never planning for it to become what it is today, so the overall technology of the groundwork of GTA 5 and GTA Online, and in addition their servers, were never really built for this. 
So with GTA 6, I expect Rockstar to be making major improvements to both the speed and reliability of GTA Online, and combine all of this with the super fast SSD storage in the PS5 and Xbox Series X, not only is the local content going to load much quicker, but also the online content should be loading a ton quicker as well. So this of course is going to lead to a much better GTA Online experience, which I think everyone is going to welcome. Now, another improvement that Rockstar is expected to make in GTA 6 Online is by adding more open world events that are done live in a session. Similar to what Fortnite has been doing over the years, Rockstar is looking to add open world events that happen in real time in GTA Online, and the possibilities with these are endless. Now Rockstar has tried doing this with GTA 5, where they pushed an update prior to the casino update, where they added some construction equipment around the casino to indicate that something is coming, however that certainly wasn't very immersive, and an open world live event would make it a ton better. And finally, I think the missions in GTA 6 Online are going to be a ton more immersive. So Rockstar has been doing a pretty good job over the last year or so in GTA Online by releasing some incredible heist DLCs that really take GTA Online to the next level and merge the worlds between single player and online, which has been super interesting to see. So there isn't any specific information at the moment, but I think the overall missions in GTA Online are going to feel a ton more immersive and combine all of this with Rockstar's improved AI tech that they're going to be implementing into the NPCs and the vehicles in the game, and I think the entire world around GTA Online is going to feel a ton more realistic. And as we've discussed before on this channel, one of the main headline features of GTA 6 that we are expecting is the ability for Rockstar to add new maps in the future. Now, it seems like Rockstar is only going to be launching GTA 6 with Vice City initially, which is based on Miami, Florida in real life. However, in the future, they will be adding different locations, and I'm sure that these are going to be influenced by the community. So if the community wants a location in, for example, Liberty City, which is based on New York City, then Rockstar will make that happen. And it's also possible that Rockstar could add different countries into GTA Online in the future, so the possibilities here are really endless. Now, in terms of what's staying the same, I think the baseline elements of GTA Online are likely going to stay the same or at least remain very similar to what they are now, including the whole idea of apartments and homes, the whole idea of jobs and live events, and all of that good stuff, I think it's going to be staying the same for the most part, so the idea of GTA 6 Online is not really to reinvent the wheel, but instead Rockstar is trying to improve GTA Online compared to what it is today, and really future-proof it for the next 15 to 20 years. And for all of you wondering if you're going to be able to transfer your character progress from GTA 5 Online to GTA 6 Online, I personally think that this is not going to happen for many reasons, and according to Feedback Online, it seems like most GTA Online players actually want a fresh start anyway, so that's probably what Rockstar is going to do. But let me know in those comments down below, what types of improvements and features do you want to see added into GTA 6 Online? Any and all thoughts you have about this and more, let me know in those comments down below because I really want to hear from you guys. But either way, if you enjoyed today's video and you like staying updated on latest news surrounding GTA Online and the GTA series in general, let me know by dropping a like rating on this video, as well as subscribe down below if you haven't already with those notifications on it so you're always notified whenever I upload a brand new video. But either way, thank you again so much for tuning in today. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you tomorrow with another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day, and I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.